Hey what's up guys it's Red here with another Fire Emblem Mythology. Today's video will be on the legendary weapons from Fire Emblem Fates, the Rai Jinto, Yato, and Siegfried. But before we start, if you have any feedback or questions for me to answer during my face summon vids, leave in the comments below. Also leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So let's get started with the Rai Jinto's mythology in real life. And I'll also do the mythology in real life for the other weapons before I get on to their depictions in the games. And this will be the way it would be for the other future vids too. So, the Raijinto comes from Japanese slash Shinto mythologies. The name of the blade is based off the god of lightning, thunder, and storms, Raijin, who is usually depicted with his brother, the god of wind, Fujin, whose name is used for Takumi's bow, the Fujin Yumi. Raijin is depicted with taiko drums that surround him that he plays to make the sounds of thunder. Raijin was said to protect Japan from invasions from Mongols by making storms, shooting arrows and lightning to drive off the Mongol army. Raijin's name and the name of the Raijin tome means Kaminari, meaning thunder, and as red as Rai in Japanese. And Kami, meaning god, and as red as Shin or Jin in Raijin's name, meaning thunder god. Also, the To in Raijin to means sword, making the name of Raijin to mean thunder god sword. Raijin was born from Izanami, the wife of Izanagi's corpse, after she died from giving birth to Kagatsushi, the god of fire. Some stories say that Raijin was a mischief maker and had to be captured and imprisoned to stop his storms. So, that was Raijin. Now, I'll talk about Yato's mythology in real life. The Yato comes from Japanese folklore, being the Yato no Kami, which comes from the story Hitachi no Kuni Fudoki. In the story, the Yato no Kami are snake deities that lived in Namegata. The snakes were Araburu Kami, meaning malevolent kami slash gods and they would kill and negatively affect humans until they were driven out and killed and also enshrined. Yato no Kami means gods of the night sword, with Yato meaning night and the sword part of the name as well. No meaning of and as stated before Kami meaning god. And that was Yato's mythology. Now onto the Siegfried's mythology in real life. The sword Siegfried comes from the hero with the same name, Siegfried from Germanic and Norse mythology. Siegfried is also known as Sigurd in Norse mythology as well. He is also the son of Sigmund in some stories and in others he is also the son of Sigling, which I talked about them in the Fire Emblem mythology Sigmund and Sigmund video, which I'll put an info card right here so that you guys can watch it too. So check it out after this video of course. <laughs> okay, anyways, Siegfried goes on adventures and slays a dragon, or in Norse mythology where he is known as Sigurd. The dragon is specifically the dragon Fafnir, whose heart allowed Sigurd to understand the language of birds to save Sigurd from being killed. So that was Siegfried's slash Sigurd's mythology in real life. Now I'll go back to the Raijinto, Yato, and Siegfried in Fire Emblem. The Raijinto is a katana in a white and gold color scheme, with the ability to channel electricity. The Yato is a golden blade that takes up different forms when it reacts with different weapons, like the Raijinto ultimately transforming into the Omega Yato. But I won't get into it as much as it is the Fire Emblem of this game and it will appear in my Fire Emblems video, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay, finally Siegfried, which is a black blade with golden accents and glows violet. The blades were three of the five weapons created by the Rainbow Sage to give to humans to fight and stop the war between the first dragons. The Raijinto was given and passed down the Hoshiden noble family. The first wielder that we know of is King Sumeragi, who died and passed it down to his eldest son and crowned prince of Hoshido, Ryoma. In the Xenologue, Heirs of Fate, the Raijin Toe was passed down from Ryoma to his own son, Shiro. The Yato was sealed in a statue at the center of Shirasagi Castle Town, where the statue was destroyed and Korin, the protagonist of Fates, got the blade to use as their own. The Yato, as stated before, gets upgraded when it reacts with the other five weapons and is also powered up by the Rainbow Sage to eventually become the Omega Yato. Korin passes the Yato to their child Kana in the Heirs of Fate Xenolog. Finally, the Siegfried was passed down the Norian noble family, which the crown prince of Nor, Xander, is the first wielder that we know of. And Xander passes the blade down to his son, Sigbert, in, you know, again the Heirs of Fate Xenolog. So that was a depiction of the Raijinto, Yato and Siegfried in Fire Emblem. 
the weapons don't have much of a backstory unlike the weapons in like the Elite games and you know we don't really know the first users of the blades too. Anyways, the next video will be on the heroes relics from Fire Emblem Three Houses, Erinbar, Failnot, and Amir. So stay tuned for next week's video and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. So thanks for watching.